to talk and they give the next day these dad awards to Kel Mitchell. Y'all know from Nickelodeon, right? He was on Keenan Kel, all that good burger that wasn't popping, he went on it, but they getting all their info from the ex-wife. But he still works as an actor on the side, but his main thing, he's a Christian pastor, right? In Los Angeles, but his ex-wife says he don't do ish for the kids, at least not her. He's a hashtag dad be dad for the 2021, so let me let y'all hear what she gotta see and I'll be right back. She said he ain't nothing but the cap. She said he really owes more than $1 million in back spouse support and child support combined. Thought about this story, now we got a couple of options. We could go with A, he was actually giving her the D on the low and actually, you know, slide her a little bit of money and everything was cool. Or we could go with the fact that he moved on and got somebody else or whatever and she just like going off. Cause like, I know she ain't letting the money build up like that. That sounds funny within itself. We're gonna leave up on a video of her on a good note of her uplifting women. So which choice y'all rolling with? Let's talk. Doing with yourself right now. Why are you still in that crazy relationship? Why are you still doing the job that you hate? Why do you keep hanging around the same people that are no good for you? I hope you know that you deserve better. You want to have a nicer house? You can get it. You want to have a nicer car? You can get it. You want to have better relationships and finally be in love with someone who actually loves you back? All of that you can get if you believe that you can. It all starts with the belief that you can do something. And I know you're like, why should I listen to this girl? Well, let me t let you in a little bit of secret. So I have been homeless. I have been in jail. I have been carless. I have slept in my car. 